Hey guys, I'm Evil Mastery, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Sunday, and we're using the new deck, the one uh, uh, with a landslide, Transmodify. So it's kind of like Agents with Transmodify. Uh, you know, that's pretty much just a deck. You know, that's just a play. And of course, I'm going to be telling you guys about my locals because I went to my locals and entered my tournament, and I'm pretty much going to be explaining how that went down. If you guys are wondering how that went down went down like crap. <laughs> Alright, let me explain. Alright, so my locals, I actually have two locals that I can go to. I can go to mini locals or big locals. Mini locals has like, uh, I'd say about 12 people, while big locals has like, uh, like 40. So, alright, so I can special summon this, alright. Special summon this. There's Hyperion. Uh, it's been a while since I played this deck, definitely. But now, you know, we got three Earths and stuff. Act. So I decided to go to the mini local. It's just a small one. Uh, I wanted to t test it out. Um, you know, my Castellar deck was actually fairly good. And, you know, I was expecting to face against the whole bench. Alright, when it's card normal summon, you can add one of the agent monsters from your deck or your hand to the graveyard except for that and if I have sanctuary sky I can add a Hyperion instead and Hyperion says uh once a turn I can banish one light fairy monster from my graveyard to target one card in the field and destroy it okay that's fine so I'll go ahead and get a Hyperion it's been such a long time I remember I went to the store uh back when I wasn't playing Yu-Gi-Oh but then I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh I used to, I bought three of these structure decks from the uh, store and just, you know, ran with it. And I was kicking a lot of people's butt. This was like when I was think, going into senior year of high school during summer school. No, I wasn't a bad kid. I was in summer school for gym. I've never took, and I, all of high school, all, f you know, the two years of gyms, the four semesters you had to take, I took them all during summer school. So... <laughs> I, I didn't really do gym in school, and I was thinking, I was like, I, you know what, I'd rather, I'd much rather do freaking just a few weeks than an entire semester of it. I hate gym. I hate gym. You know? Not fat, not lazy, just don't like gym. Alright. So, let me guess, you're gonna fusion gate and poly some dragons and make five god dragon? Ooh, Lightning Vortex. Alright. I'm gonna Blance my Perion. I mean, it's essentially the same thing. He's gonna Dark Hole me, then he's gonna Lance me, but then he might be able to summon a monster stronger than me now. I don't know. No? Just look like he's gonna set some cards. Alright, uh. I'm gonna pitch him and get me another Sanctuary in the Sky, because the Sanctuary in the Sky is my ticket to happiness. <laughs> sanctuary in the Sky? Over your stupid Fusion Gate? No more of that? And now Hyperion can activate its effect, so I can banish the Light Fairy type to target one card on the field and destroy it, so... Effect... Banish... Pop! Effect. Banish. Pop. Oh, they're just all bluffs. Okay. I guess. Uh. In battle phase, I'll just hit you for 27. Hopefully. What the hell is that? What is it? When your opponent monster cards on attack, your opponent chooses one random card from your hand, then it's has the monster spell summon another special. Alright. Okay. Alright. Cancel attack. So I pop everything right except for that. Wow. Okay. Uh go ahead. So I was like, enter with my constellars. I feel like my constellars could do a fairly good job at, you know, uh winning 
so I decided to be like, okay, let's enter the sellers. So, round one. Uh, Valhalla. Whoop. Hmm. Maybe I should play like Return from Different Dimension in this. God. All this shit I'm banishing. And popping and banishing and popping and banishing. I mean, look at this. Okay. Uh, that. You. Oh, give me a Valhalla. Set this, and you can go ahead. So you're just gonna hit me for three thousand? I mean, I guess that's fine. So round one, I go up against. Guess what? I go up against. But you can't guess, cause I always go up against this deck constantly, constantly. It seems like everybody in the mother has this deck. Yes, E dragons. I go against E dragons. I go against uh, a guy. I'm not gonna say his name, uh, but uh, it was a good game. Round one, I. I open up with a whole bunch of lances, and of course, lances being completely useless. <laughs> like I swear to God, just useless. And like I was like, oh come on, like th triple lance, like triple lance, and I pretty much lost aim. Like if I ran two bears, I would have probably, I would have won. I would have won if I ran two bears, but I don't. I only won one. End up losing round one. Round two, I side in like my MSTs because I think he's gonna put in skill drain. I side in the mind drains and the Imperial Iron walls, um, and I never got any of them, but I still ended up pulling out the win, squeezing it out barely. Um, then we go to game three. Game three, I open up with triple mind drain and Imperial Iron wall. Like really, like those mind drains were so useless. So I set the mind drain and Imperial Iron wall. I mind drain and Imperial Iron wall. Me Phoenix win win blast my Imperial Iron wall back to the top of my deck and continues to just beat my ass. And I ended up just losing. Oh my God, Valhalla is great and all, but come on, you know, like we're gonna see if this deck needs some tweaking. Alright, what does this say? What's the turn you can move? What's the turn six right? You can discard one period time monster from your hand, select one remove from place, period time monster, and special summon it. Well, I don't have another fairy, so. And that sucks, too. That guy's pretty much top decking. Yay, another fairy. And I do have sanctuary in the sky, so. So, effect, discard a fairy, and then select one of my remove from play fairy type monsters, and special summon it, so I can special summon Hyperion. Whoop! And just go, bam! Bam! Not bad. That's pretty good. Is that game? I think that might be game. Yep, that was game. Alright, I'm not even close to done talking, so uh, we're going to get another duel in. So, uh, he pretty much just beats me. It was, it wasn't, I wasn't salty. It was a good game. So, I ended up losing round one. Uh, so round two, I go up against a chain beat deck. And I pretty much play around him like, uh, like Omega. And Const Constella Omega just blocked his back row, and I pretty much just played around all of his plays. So, uh, you know, that was pretty easy. Uh, well, um, I don't think we even, even. I don't think we even went to game three. I think it was just two zero. It was like straight up just whatever, really. Okay, so we're starting to get some uh, some plays now. I can transmodify and turn this fairy into. Oh, we're going against spell books. Uh, they shouldn't run pod duality in spell books. You should run. Uh, uh, I forgot what the the one where if you have no spell books in the graveyard, that one, that one's really good in that deck. Way better than Pot of Duality. Definitely better. Of course, little boy. It's fine. So I might get it, you know. That fate might just, you know, keep on removing me from play, but what's that called? I think it's called like 
Cynodile? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Star Hall. Secrets. It's fine. It's turn to take a marathon, so I pretty much get to talk. So, that's good. So, I'm now 1-1. One, one. Round 2, I go against some scrub little kid. Like, I'm, uh, I know it's kind of rude to call him a scrub, but he definitely was a noob. He was... He's running the blue eyes structure deck. You know, not even, like, three of them put together or anything. It was pretty much just the blue eyes structure deck. I don't even know who he beat. He was 1-1 one, one just like me, but I'm just like, okay. You know, smack the crud out of him. You know, now, was, now I'm 2-1. he have three? There's two. Alright. Ah, uh, um, discard Hecatrice. And go ahead and get me a Valhalla. Activate Valhalla. Special summon Hyperion. Yep. Like I didn't see that one coming. Ah, uh, la 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 la. I could summon a whole bunch of shine balls and make a a dark mist. Or a gachi. I don't know. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So you're gonna set is it set me, right? Yep. Whew. I would love to get some plays in. You know, I would definitely like to, you know, actually do something in this duel. Whatever. It's more about the commentating anyway. So, uh now I'm two one. I'm going on my fourth round. And my fourth round I go against Infernities, yes, Infernities. Ooh. So we roll die. I go first. I whip out a Pleades, and uh, pretty much Pleades is he's like summon Greffer. I'm like bounce, like, summon Greffer. I'm like bounce. Like every single time he tried to do it, I kept on just bouncing him and bouncing him and bouncing him, and he was just getting. He was like, oh my gosh, no search. Oh, okay. I'm about to say. Is that another fate or Alright. Special summon Hyperion. Okay. Like shit. This nigga has all the answers. <laughs> you know? Like this nigga. This nigga right here, he has all the answers. Alright, well. I can summon Earth. Effect, or are you gonna veil it? Okay, finally. Whew. I was worried maybe I wouldn't be able to get so I get to add an agent monster. Uh let's add Jupiter, because he's actually pretty good. And I can transmodify him and turn him into Athena, and then I could just draw a whole bunch of crap of cards, so So actually no, I'm gonna transmodify right now and I can turn it and this into a Venus and then pay 500 and summon shine balls and stuff so uh, transmodify so I'm gonna turn you into a Venus uh, da -da -da -da. Venus effect pay my 500 and now I'm gonna summon some shine balls Is it from into my hand or graveyard? Yes, it is. Uh, should I just summon the last shine ball? Should I even be playing three shine ball? I don't know. It's been a cool minute, you know. 
Man, screw it. Oh no, I don't want to show my. I should have to my opponent overlay. Make these into a gachi. There we go. Uh, game two, I misplay. I uh, I saw him the DD crows, and you know, he had a stygian. Then he tried. He activated stygian. I tried to chain DD crow, but I guess apparently you can't do that. So. That didn't work out, so I ended up losing and got the barriers and stuff and just went completely off on my butt and just kicked it, like, kicked it down the street, like, whoo, you know. And, uh, game three, it was actually kind of funny, <laughs> because he sets, uh, he sets, like, a ton of back row. Has one card in his hand, I activate Vanity's Emptiness, and pretty much he's just stuck, he can't do anything. <laughs> and, and he's like, oh, I can't do anything, I'll just lose, I'm like, yeah, you lose, so, you know. There we go, I beat you. So, uh, I'm thinking about maybe playing just two Shine Balls and just making Gachi. I don't know, I don't even like Venus. I don't even like the whole Venus sh Gachi Shine Ball play, so I might even just take that out and put it something else. I don't know. I don't know right now. So, so uh, at this point, I'm 3 1. The tournament is small, but I, f I, have a f I have a good feeling that I will be able to top. So, you know, I get ready to go top, and, uh, pretty much top four, she pretty much puts the pairings up, and, hold and behold, I'm not on there. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait, I went 3-1, how come I'm not top? Well, remember that one loss that I got at the beginning? Yeah, that guy ended up dropping. So because he dropped, and I lost to him, my record was worse, and I got fifth place, in instead of fourth. So I wasn't even top four. Great, huh? Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> Just like, are you pooping me? I, don't know, I know he's got a damn fate, so. No point in even me trying to push right now. Yeah, see, this shine ball's just sitting here not doing anything. Get rid of that shit. No point in even playing it. Actually, you know what? There's really no point. I don't know. This deck definitely needs some tweaking, so. Uh, I'm definitely going to be seeing some of that. You know. Um, but, but this deck one was like a landslide. Like, this was like number one. First place. Like, just hands down. <sighs> but right now, I pretty much just got to wait for him to make a push, you know? So, I didn't top. Nope, did not top. And it sucked, but... And it made me sad. I was like, no, I cut a top. Come on. Alright, so you are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 27. I'm 2,000, so I take 700. And then my shit's banished. It would be awesome to have my field spell right now. That's probably a spellbook of fate to set me or something. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh, I should just take it slow. I'm not in a hurry to win. Go ahead. I don't know, maybe I'll come up with some different plays for this deck. Like I said, still gonna need some tweaking, but... Damn, he is just getting me right now. So after that, I headed over to my other locals, the big locals, where I was just messing around doing with people. I ended up doing one of my friends who ran Mermels because I wasn't really sure uh, about how my matchup with Mermels would go. And, uh... It went fairly well. Like, he beat me game three, but he veiled my sombre, like, at the last second. So, you know, I would have had him if he didn't do that, so. Darkle? Go ahead. Activate it. Uh, of course. Uh, I still don't like spell books. You know, 
Still not a big fan of spell books. Uh, so probably those are fates and shit, and he's just gonna get me with the fate and banish me, and there's gonna be nothing I can do. So this game might be determined. So yeah, he veiled my sombre. If he didn't veil my sombre, I would have won. But since he did, he won. So that's how that turned out to be. So uh, I was talking to him, and I was like, "Well, what should I side out for Mermels? Because you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to drown." He said that my Costello deck was good, and, um, you know, that was probably the best match he's ever had against a Costello deck. But I just, like, wish aside. I was like, does Mind Drain work? And he's like, no, not really. And uh, Mind Drain definitely didn't work against Dragon, so I'm going to be taking that out. So I was like, what should I side? And he's like, well, definitely side Max C. Max C, you know, slows them down. Well, yeah, slows them down to my speed. Of course, he got the fate. Yeah, this is probably... Oh, yeah, this is most definitely game. There's not much I can do. I mean... If I try to pull off a play, he's just going to fate me right out of the way. And he's just going to proceed to win. Mm. Not the best deck to be facing off against this deck. Definitely not. So, that's definitely game. Oh, well. So this deck needs some tweaking. And I'm not sure if I really want to... I mean, I like Jupiter. I like Jupiter. Jupiter is good. But Venus and them? Not really. Uh... What is that? 33? So he's just gonna set the fate, and when I try to summon, he's just gonna be like, haha! If I activate multiple Valhalla's, like if I go, if I go like special summon, and he hits me, can I go like Valhalla special summon again? Yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, you know, at this point, it might be over. You know, if I had my sanctuary in the sky, man, this might have been different, but nope. Well, so I'm going to appear on this bug book of fate. Go ahead, play it. Oh, Phoenix, okay. Yeah, he got it. Screw it. I don't feel like dealing with this. Alright, so, uh, that's what happened. So, he's like, you should side Max C. So, uh, what do you guys think? I mean, I think that side Max C might be really good, you know? It'll speed me up, get me the cards that I need. Um, I don't main deck the Veilers, I side them, so, you know. Maybe Max C speed up my draw, get to my, like, remove from place, like my soul drain, my, or my macro, my, uh, my D fissure quicker against mermels and dragons, get to those Imperion I mean, yeah, Imperion walls faster and slow them down, make them sure that they don't, you know, go off or I'll get the cards that I need and then they'll be in trouble. So I'm thinking about uh, you know, getting uh, three of those. They're expensive right now. I think they're like fifteen bucks each, but hey, you know, I'll I'll have to shot the money and get them. So after that, uh I was at the card shop, my locals, and they had one of the games that I definitely wanted to play. So nostalgic that I just had to get it. So they had Jet Set Radio Future. Love that game. Oh my god, love that game. So, they had the Jet Set Radio Future. And I was like, eh, I want to get it, but I don't have a working Xbox. So they had a working Xbox there for 50 bucks. So I was like, you know what, I got the money. And I have a 30-day guarantee. So uh, I purchased the Xbox. I purchased the game. I'm going to play it until my heart contends for the 30 days and just return it and just be like, yeah, I'm done with it. <laughs> Not to be a jerk. And then we also got that Beyblade V-Force game for fun on the GameCube. And we've just been done being all nostalgic with our old games and stuff. So that's pretty much it. So this one was pretty long, but hey, that was my locals report. So I didn't top. I got fifth. Uh, maybe things would have been different. Uh, going to tweak my deck and tweak this deck and uh, maybe try it again next Saturday. <gasps> I got the hiccups now. Uh, so thank you guys for watching this episode of Daily Duels. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed Transmod Fairies. It did fairly well. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and be like, Hey, you should try this out. Or, hey, yeah, keep that in, you know? Uh, this deck is a work in progress. Uh, I pretty much made it because I saw Transmodify, and I was like, Oh, that would be fun in agents. And, you know, when I offered it, you guys ate it up, you know? This is the straight-up number one first-place winner of the vote, so 
Uh, there we go. So, uh, deck hidden wise, we only have one more deck left, and you won't see it till Thursday. But we only got one more left, so you you know that now we have Dragon Still, Black Wings, and this deck. So, for until Thursday, you're just gonna get the you know sorry the same old decks. But hey, you know those are still fun too. So, uh, please join me and dealing with you know Utopia, Ravy, uh, hopefully. Uh, Death Pro will be working because that's the reason why I'm on here right now. Death Pro is just being a butthead, and I'm just like, you know what, screw it. We're gonna do it DM style. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Utopia deck. Oh, also, uh, make sure you add me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, do all that good stuff. All right, so see you guys tomorrow.